Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. In this video, we're going to talk about Immigration Minister declares intention to have more in Canada Immigration draws. Welcome to today's video and a significant move. The Immigration Minister has recently announced plans to increase the frequency of in-Canada immigration draws. This decision marks a pivotal moment in the nation's immigration policy, reflecting a commitment to streamline processes and accommodate the growing demand for residency. Join us as we delve into the implications and potential impact of this decision on both immigrants and Canadian society at large. If you are interested in this topic, so, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for an upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Immigration Minister Mark Miller declared his intention to pursue more domestic draws for temporary residents already in Canada who are candidates for permanent residence PR. Draws reference PR selection rounds through pathways like express entry managed programs, wherein candidates from a pool are chosen based on their comprehensive ranking system CRS, scores, or for specific professional experience or French language ability, and issued invitations to apply ITAs, for PR. The minister's comments came as part of an expansive announcement on managing temporary resident levels in Canada to help ease pressures on the country's critical support sectors, like housing, healthcare, and others. Temporary residents are defined as those living or working in Canada on a non-permanent basis including foreign nationals on a work or study permit who reside in Canada. As part of our efforts for temporary residents to transition to permanent residency, we will have more domestic draws for us, the federal government, and ask provinces and territories taking part in the provincial nominee program to do the same with their allocations, Miller said. What does this mean for newcomers already in Canada? For those who are in Canada on a work or study permit, Miller's comments indicate a potential shift toward targeting more permanent resident candidates already in the country at this time, it should be noted that it is very difficult to predict how exactly Miller's comments will translate to policy. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, held the largest express entry draw in its history, issuing 27,332 invitations to apply ITES, to Canadian Experience Class CEC, candidates with a CRS score of 75 this is considerably lower than the average CRS scores for express entry draws. The SEC is one of the express entry managed programs and is Canada's dedicated federal pathway for immigration candidates who have already made inroads into the country's Laborda market and society. Provincial nominee programs PNPs, are another example of immigration pathways that often target individuals who have begun integrating into Canadian life. These streams are managed primarily by provincial and territorial governments who often invite candidates residing in their jurisdiction. As the immigration minister is quoted as saying at the start of the article, Miller intends the plan shift towards more domestic draws to work through both federal and provincial pathways, at the time of his comment. Why did the immigration minister make these comments? by potentially increasing the number of opportunities that temporary residents within Canada have to receive PR, Miller is hoping to choose candidates that more reliably have better immigration outcomes in Canada. There is a rich body of literature to suggest that the pre-immigration Canadian experience is one of the best predictors of better outcomes in Canada. At the same time, this allows the department to meet their immigration targets, highlighted within the immigration levels plan, without adding a new entrant to the economy which could further add to pressures already felt in Canada, in housing, healthcare, and other key support sectors. As we conclude, the announcement by the Immigration Minister to enhance in Canada immigration draws signals a proactive step towards addressing the evolving needs of prospective immigrants. With a focus on accessibility and efficiency, this initiative holds promise for fostering diversity and enriching the cultural fabric of Canada. Stay tuned for further developments on this unfolding narrative. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.